What's up guys, welcome to your 11th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to edit, edit multiple um, properties on the same screen. Now, in the last tutorial, we learned how to use the graph editor to edit one of these values such as rotation, or if we had something like position, we could edit that one too. But the only problem with this is when we want to try to coordinate two or more properties, it's kind of hard to toggle back and forth and see what one we can edit and what one, what one we can't. So to do that, here's what we need to do. If you want to get more than one value on the graph at the same time, then you need to right click and you need to click show animated properties. This is going to show all of your properties that you animated and this is going to let you coordinate one or more animations on the same screen. Now After Effects automatically color codes them so that you can tell right here in your composition panel and right here in your graph editor uh, what each line means. Now there's one problem with this. A lot of the time you're going to have um, properties that have a huge range. For example, you might have a um, a position chain that's only like a hundred pixels or something and you might have a rotation that's like six thousand so one line is going to be like only like this on your screen that you can barely even tell what it is and the other line is going to be way shooting off the graph and your scale is going to go from like zero to two thousand so one way that you can isolate some of these lines or actually the way that you should do it is if you only want to work with a couple properties at a time and not show all of them you need to go down to this little eye and make sure that everything is selected except show animation properties once you click that you're going to be able to choose what animation properties you want to see and you do that by using this little button right here when you click one of these buttons it shows you it can isolate just what properties you want if the box is selected, it means include this on the graph editor. As you can see, we now have rotation selected, and we now have only rotation on the graph editor. If we select position too, then we have rotation and position. And of course, if we deselect rotation, then we only have position. So this is pretty helpful if you're working with a bunch of different properties that you animated, but they have a a wide range of values if you only wanna like uh, coordinate two of them or three of them then you can get rid of the other ones get them out of the way and concentrate on the ones you're working on so this is a very useful tool when uh, you're trying to coordinate images or uh, animations so let's go ahead and just do that right now um since we wanted to coordinate this animation Let's go, let's make Charlie rotate at his, uh, we'll make sure we change his rotation when it gets the, the peak of his positioning. So go ahead and move this position over to the middle of this. This is the change in position. And as you can see, this is a lot easier than trying to move your keyframes in your non-graphical editor mode. And another thing I want to do is bring down his positioning, I mean his rotation, whenever, as he's approaching the end. So, as you can see, now, Charlie, if you watch him, he's rotating, and at the top, he's going to change his rotation. So, that's a useful way, and again, if we want to apply easy ease, select the keyframes, and do them one by one ease in and ease out and now as you can see this is a very useful way to coordinate our animations um, very useful tool when trying to coordinate keyframes and if you want to achieve the desired effect then you can do it by doing this so um, learn how to use the graph and edit multiple animations at the same time and as you can see it's a lot easier way to coordinate your animations among keyframes so thank you guys for watching, study this tutorial, and I hope to see you next time.